Hello YouTube. Today's topic is computer repair and how to be successful with computer repair. It's actually very hard to be successful with computer repair, despite what you think, because um, computer repair, when you work with it, you got all kinds of people that has broken their computers differently. You can spend time resolving every single problem by its own and trying to figure out the solution of every single problem. Or you can do it the easy way and back it up the stuff they want and reformat the computer. That's the two ways you really can do it. But uh, when you reinstall the computer, you actually have a issue because you will run into one problem with every single computer not really the computer but the person that has the computer because if you install a computer um, let's say you install Windows XP or Vista or any other operating system that is stable and you get the computer too stable and you install the best antivirus and everything you know uh, and you get the computer too stable then the customer will stop coming back to you because the computer is too stable they will say why the hell do I need to fix this the computer does what I need it to do and basically that's the issue you can't you need to put a line how stable you install the computers you can't like do a too good of a job or too bad of a job you need to be in the middle and also selling computers is kind of the same thing selling computers I tend to do a good job and get them really stable and sell the computers because selling they might come back for another one they might but highly likely they won't because really they don't want to pay the price for the computer they just want the windows license or whatever and rip it apart basically at the low end machines as for selling it's pretty damn hard i've had people calling on the phone every single day now for a week and saying they want the Dell XPS computer and basically what I told them is I'm willing to trade I'm willing to sell it I'm willing to a lot of things but I'm not willing to drop the price by 60% I mean I could drop the price by a hundred dollars that doesn't bother me but when I ask 350 United States dollars and when they say you get 150 I'm like whoa that's too big of a drop that will even cover the RAM sticks maybe it will but it won't cover the hardware I can promise you that so basically they say you can get this and that for it and when I tell them I want money or I want a similar computer in trade that is 25% faster it doesn't have to run I don't care if it has windows I don't care if it has a hard drive it just has to run hardware wise and basically they say sure I pay for the computer I buy it from you and they never call back so that's the persons you're dealing with if you are gonna start an IT company today. And back to repairs. When people come with their computers and uh, say this and that and this and that is broken, you need to figure out because highly likely they are wrong. 
and that's why they are coming to you because they can't figure shit out but they try to tell you what's wrong and basically what you need to do is figure out what's wrong really they could say no oh, it need to reinstall the operating system and you need to figure out what the virus was that was installed but in reality they may have a bad memory in the computer that causes the problems and when you try to explain they have a bad memory you take screen dumps on memtest and send them to them they go like mm, can't be a memory i installed this memory last week yeah but when did the computer start acting up like it was crazy mm, about last week yeah no shit man so you have all kinds of questions like that and mostly the majority of computers i would say is um, i would really say dusted because dusted is a good word for it because the computers i get is so dusted all the time the fans doesn't even turn and the computer shuts down and they can't figure the hell out why one of them even tried to defrag the hard drive when the computer was shutting down and managed to screw a couple of files up so yeah so that's really the issues you will run into as a IT technician my tips to you is don't do a too good of a job don't do a too bad of a job be in the middle and if they ask for what antivirus is the best what software is the best and can you install a um, installation of Nero or something keep it legal because you know if you install a pirated operating system and pirated stuff on to their computers and the computer breaks or they take it into the shop they're gonna come and knock on your door that's the problem I've seen it happen not to me but I knew that before I started out with computer repair so keep it legal if they don't have the disks with the drivers and stuff drivers you can always get online not always but most of the time 90% but as for Windows it has to be legal with at least a serial number on the case at least the serial number on the case should be there without the serial number there's pretty much nothing you can do except install Ubuntu onto their computers and basically Ubuntu even solves a couple of problems because um, they won't mess around with it because they won't understand it and as long as they don't understand what sudo and what root means they won't break it basically so the more power you give them over the system the higher the chance is they will break it so that's my tip for today don't do it too good of a job with computer repair and don't do a too bad of a job don't let me diagnose the problems and give them back their broken computers and say it's fixed you need to fix the problem but you don't need to fix all the other problems that it's not in for repair for let's say if they turn it in for a bad graphics card and the graphics card really is bad you don't need to like swap the audio card and upgrade that or you don't need to upgrade their windows to the latest service pack or do anything of those you just need to swap the card that was to you paid for maybe dust off the computer and install the correct drivers that's what you paid for and that's what you're gonna do i mean updating their windows and messing around actually you could in theory break the computer and then you would have a lot of extra works to do and that's not good 
because that will take up your time and you will get less done but anyways my video is running out of time now and i'm rambling so please subscribe youtube and take care so bye